Always consult your use and care guide and owner's manual for additional information. If you want to make it a favorite, you can actually hit this button right here. It looks like a little heart. And it'll ask you if you want to save it as a favorite. Now down here on the, on the left hand side are different times of the day that you can make it a favorite. So this first one is breakfast, second one's lunch, third one's dinner, the fourth one's a snack. We'll go back into this here in a second. So once it's complete, you can just press home to go back to the home screen. Now as we're talking about favorites, you can hit the star and it'll bring up favorites. Since we have our time right now as we're in the lunch time zone, you'll see that we don't have any favorites set yet. Same with breakfast, no favorites. We have dinner, and we have snack. And this last button is gonna be the history. So that'll just show a history of the last time that you used measured fill for any amount of water. So if we go back home, you can see that some of these actually automatically show up on the screen. So these are here pretty much all the time. You have uh, eight ounces of water, one cup of water, two cups of water, 20 ounces of water, 30 ounces of water, and 40 ounces of water. So if you tap on any of those, it'll go right into the automatic dispense. You hit dispense and it'll, it'll fill out. That amount of water will come out of the dispenser. Once it's complete, you just hit the home button. So now if we want to set something to a favorite, we'll go to our favorites menu. We're at lunchtime and we can actually say we want eight ounces of water as our favorite out of one of these ones that's already listed. We can just tap on the star button. It's going to ask if we want to save it as a favorite. We'll hit save. And there, now that's at the top of the screen. Now let's say we have a large water bottle that we always fill at lunch, 40 ounces. We'll hit the star there. We'll hit save. There again, now that's at the top of the screen. So if we go back to our home menu, since we're at that lunchtime time frame, you'll see that the large water bottle and the cup of tea is right at the top of the screen. If we want to add something special that's not one of the regular favorites, so we're still on lunch favorites, we can scroll down and we can get create a favorite. So say we want, maybe we make some soup every day and we need a cup and a half of water. That's something that we eat at lunch a lot. We can hit next and we got our one and a half cups of water. We can rename it so you can tap a name and you can just, I'm just gonna put soup and hit okay. And we can add an image. So you don't really need to add the image, but they're there. So we'll just pick an image here and we'll hit next. And it'll show soup, one and a half cups of water. We'll hit save as favorite. So there we go. Now we have three favorites there at lunch. If we go back to our home screen, right away as we scroll down, you'll see soup is right there at the top. There's our large bottle of water and there's our eight ounces or a cup of tea. To change the time when lunch, dinner, breakfast, and snack, which will move your favorites to the top of this list, or add favorites, so right now soup's only on there at lunchtime. So if we go to settings, and we go down here to preferences, and we hit times and dates, right there at the top is your meal times. So we'll click on that. Now this goes for every hour throughout the day. You can set it as either snack, breakfast, lunch, or dinner. So right now, we just hit the 2 p.m. hour on this refrigerator, and we're on lunch. So that's why those three favorites are at the top. So if I wanted to change that to snack time instead, now that it's changed to snack time, if I go home and I scroll down here, now our, our favorites are, are not there, and that cup of soup or our soup one that we just set is gone because that was only on there at lunchtime. So as you can see, if you set those to different times of the day, you'll have your favorites will show up during the, those different times that you set. So if you need to remove a favorite, we'll go to our favorites menu and we'll go to lunch because that's where we set our three favorites. So if you want to say you, you're not filling up that water bottle anymore, 
you can hit the favorite button there and it's going to ask if you want to remove it. You can hit remove it and now you only have the cup of tea one and the soup one. Another thing is on those automatic ones that are already there, so cup of tea, since that was already there for eight ounces, if we want to rename that, because we don't drink tea at lunch or we just, we don't drink tea in general, but we still need eight ounces of water. We'll tap on that, we'll hit edit up here in the corner, and it's going to ask how much water. So we're going to go back to eight ounces of water, we'll hit next, and then we can name it. So we can name it, so say we need it for our cat bowl. So we'll just name it cat. So that's a perfect amount of water for our cat. So we'll hit okay, we just click an image, we'll hit next, and we're gonna hit save as favorite. So now back at lunch, cause that's where we're at, now we have cat eight ounces of water. So that actually replaced the eight ounces of water that used to be there under a cup of tea. So at lunchtime, that's what's gonna show up. So if we decide we don't want the cat one anymore, again, we can tap on the star, we can hit remove it, and it's removed. But it gets renamed back down here as cup of tea since we only had it named for lunch. So that's one way you can scroll through and change your favorites.